Have you ever wondered if email marketing is still effective? I mean, there's lots of other options for communicating online, so you might wonder whether or not it's still a legit way to communicate, whether it's still effective, whether it still works. And if that's you, then this video is for you because we'll be talking about 10 reasons why email marketing is important. So if you haven't been to my channel before, hi, my name is Tiffany Domina. Welcome to my channel. Um, my website is howtoentrepreneur.org and my mission there is to help you grow a business from idea to full-time income and from full-time income to enterprise. So if you haven't yet, stop by howtoentrepreneur.org. Definitely check out all the resources that I have available for you there. The mission there is to help you grow your business and I really feel strongly about that. So definitely stop by and check out the resources that are available there for you. So um now, when it comes to email, there are lots of different ways to communicate. And like I mentioned before, you can do social media, you can do text messaging, you can do direct mail. Um, there's lots of ways that you can communicate a message. So uh, a lot of people argue whether or not email marketing is still effective. Some people say social media is a better option nowadays. And some people say, well, you should be using Messenger or you should be using text messaging. And there's lots of different ways that people talk about for marketing a business and um, cold calling is still common for some companies. So um, despite all of these challenges, there are some really intriguing reasons why email marketing is important. So if you are looking for some of some reasons why you might still want to consider it, then this is what we'll be talking about. So number one, one reason why you should consider email marketing is because of the reach that you're able to have in comparison to the number of subscribers that you have. When it comes to social media, if you post on Facebook or you post on Instagram or any of the other social media channels, they have their algorithms that say how many people your, um, your post would go to. So even though you might have 2,000 subscribers on Facebook, um, not all of those people will actually get your um, your notification or will see your post on their feeds. So there's a, a different reach. But when it comes to email, you can actually draft an email and send it out and it will go to everyone in your list unless you hit the spam box. But it's less likely that you'll hit the spam box in comparison to um, how the algorithms are for social media. So that's one reason. In fact, I have a stat here that I want you to know. And it says if you have 2,000 email subscribers, 2,000 Facebook fans, and 2,000 followers on Twitter, this is what you'll get. You'll get 435 people that will open your email, 120 Facebook fans that will see your message, and 40 Twitter followers that will see your message. So I, I'm sure you see the difference in that. 2,000 subscribers, 435 open the email, 120 Facebook fans see your message, 40 Twitter followers will see your message. Now, it's still valuable to post on all of those mediums if you can, but I, I'm sure you can see that 435 people would be reached in comparison to 120 or even on Twitter, 40 followers seeing your post. So this is a stat done by Mail Munch and... Um, so that really <laughs> explains the difference in the reach right there. But added to your reach, there's a difference in shelf life. And so number two is that you have a longer shelf life for content through email marketing. When you post on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or social media in general, um, the post goes out, but then there's lots of other people publishing their family pictures and publishing um, their updates and quotes and various things. So you're easily flooded out, and um, within less than within less than a day, your content is completely replaced. So you have to publish aggressively on social media to get really good results, and um, with email. It's not necessarily like that. There are lots of people who are subscribed to lots of email lists and things like that, but 
Still with email, they have the chance to go later and scroll down through their email box and pick out which emails are important for them and read them at a convenient time. So um, this is one additional difference between the two. And <clears throat> so this step by HubSpot says that the mean half-life of a link on Twitter is 2.8 hours. The mean half-life of a link on Facebook is 3.2 hours. The mean half-life of a link via direct sources such as email or instant messages is 3.4 hours. So you can see that when you send out an email, like it's likely for it to be opened even up to 3.4 hours after you've posted it. But in contrast, a Facebook post or a Twitter um, post has less of shelf life. Now, I think part of it is because they combined the statistic with email and instant messaging, but hey. <laughs> so number three is uh, a reason for why email marketing is important is because subscribers can engage with the content when it's convenient for them. So when you send an email, and it hits my email box, I might be eating, I might be driving, I might be um, working. There's so many different things that we're doing in life. And so when you get an email notification, it's not likely that you'll get majority people to open it instantly. But with email, it's nice because the email can sit there and they can go back through their emails later. And, um, so many people who are trying, who have their priorities and so many things that they're doing in their day would likely go back to that email later on and check it out. Now, this one you might not even believe, but number four is that more people use email than social media. So social media is definitely growing. More people have Facebook profiles, Instagram profiles, TikTok, and, and there's lots of different social media platforms nowadays, but there's still more people that use email. And so to explain this, you might go on Instagram, you might go on Facebook, and you're scrolling through and looking at everybody's pictures and quotes and um, life updates and all of those things. But you're not necessarily looking for um, your boss to contact you through Facebook to tell you um, what time you have to show up for work, or um, you're not looking for a bill collector to tell you what time or date to pay your bill. So people rely on email for those important priority emails or that important priority communication and they rely on social media for more like leisure, more interaction, more social networking. So those are two, two um, big differences. And so uh, a quote by McKinsey or a stat by McKinsey says that 91% of all U.S. consumers still use email daily. And the rate at which emails prompt purchases is not only estimated to be at least three times that of social media, but the average order value is also 17% higher. So that's important to notice because um, even if you decide to do ads um, and you're advertising on the social media platforms, email is still a viable way of um, getting higher order values and um, of reaching a large number of people. So number five is that email is inexpensive. So um, we talked about how social media, when you post, especially an organic post, um, it has a limited reach. And with email, you have a higher reach, even though you may have the same number of subscribers. With email marketing, um, you can start some plans for free. I have reviews on different platforms that you can use to even get started for free. Um, and uh, <clears throat> so, but with um, with social media, you start you can start for free, just like um, email, but your reach is much smaller, and 
as you as you want more reach is you're more incentivized to pay for that reach um, they have the boosted posts and then they have advertising on most of the platforms so if you really want reach and you really want guaranteed reach then paying for that um, is what you have to do with social media the your ad budget can start from hundreds to thousands to tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands to millions you can pay millions on advertising through social media with email I've never seen anyone pay millions of dollars for email marketing. Um, I know that you can definitely pay thousands for it, but you can get a lot more reach for a much lower cost with email marketing. And you can start very inexpensively and grow your reach um, through email and uh, not really have that many... Uh, it's, it's just inexpensive in comparison to um, the reach. So let me stop there. <laughs> okay, so number six, email helps build trust. So many small businesses use email marketing to show their expertise, um, to give value, to give demonstrations, and for various things like that. And so when you are giving value over time, you're building trust with the people who are on your email list. And in that way, um, email marketing helps to build trust. So you can explain how your company benefits the user. You can share different promotions with them. It's a lot of things you can do by email. Number seven, email helps you to stay top of mind. Now, I would say don't overdo this, um, but definitely use email to stay top of mind one key to getting customers and businesses definitely to get attention and you want to keep the attention at all if, if you can so many businesses get attention but they lose the attention early on in the buying cycle and they they don't uh, follow up or maintain that so i remember going to do speaking engagements and everyone's paying attention while I'm doing the speaking engagement and then there might be a few people that come up and want to converse after I'm done speaking but um, <laughs> if I didn't have an email list after they walk away I may never see them again and a lot of people may not want you to call or something like that but with email they might feel a little bit more comfortable so um, email is a great way to keep follow up, um, to keep building a long term relationship over time, to stay top of mind, to um, remind them of what benefits you have and what you can do to help their business. Because most people don't make a decision with just one contact, you know? Um, so that's something to think about. Number eight email marketing statistics show businesses of all sizes getting sales retention and more engagement as a result of email so you don't need stats to see that big companies like walmart target and even presidential campaigns are using email marketing um, it's really obvious to see um, that so small businesses are using email too it's a great way to get people to know what you do to get people to know how you can help them, the benefits of working with you. Um, it's a great way to stay top of mind, like I mentioned before. And ultimately, as you are, um, as you are building that relationship, um, you can also be getting closer and closer to a potential sale. And um, sales are the lifeblood of business, right? So number nine, email can help nurture relationships. So there are some emails that I consistently delete or I consistently pass by. And you probably have some emails like that too that um, pop up in your email box and you're like, oh, skip, oh, delete. Um, but then there's some emails that pop up in your email box and you might be like, um, every time you just got to open that email right away. So I want you to think about what's the difference in those emails 
that um, really attract your attention and really make you want to open right away in comparison to the emails that you just like scroll past and just delete immediately because that can help you while you're building your email marketing strategy for me the emails that I really like to open are the emails that um, are adding value and the ones that I know are not just promoting something um, I like to open emails that might tell some stories or emails that uh, might be somewhat entertaining emails that teach me a new lesson I like emails like that and then if the if through the course of teaching a lesson or telling a story or um, then they also send a promotional email I'm okay with that because um, they've given so much value sometimes that's the reason why I might make a purchase because I want to reciprocate that and that's something that studies prove um, I know a book by I, I think his, his last name is Cialdini on persuasion and basically he talks about reciprocate reciprocating as being a persuasion tactic because when you give then it makes the person feel like um, they want to give something back they want to reciprocate what you've done for them so email can be a way to nurture those relationships to ignite that persuasion um, that reciprocation and uh, ultimately to grow your business so number 10 email can help to inform potential customers of promotions and of course this is um, something that a lot of people feel uncomfortable with but it's something that you have to do in business is to let people know about the products and services that you offer and ultimately your products and services should be a solution should be solving a problem so when you promote them it should be solve, helping someone else to accomplish a goal so you shouldn't feel bad about promoting the products and services that you offer so even though I prefer to read from uh, email marketers who monopolize their content with information and added value I still like to see promotional emails because I know that some emails that I've gotten that are promotional have been the key to me learning something new to me buying something that I, I really like and so it's important to still have promotions in there but to make sure you're adding value you're giving something and you're promoting so one statistic by marketing Sherpa says 91 percent of US adults like to receive promotional emails from companies they do business with so you can see that um, people are looking for those promotional emails if you're a business and you offer something of value then people want to know what that is so they can uh, achieve their goal whatever that is um, so in closing these were 10 reasons why email marketing is important I hope this really helped you to see um, the value in email marketing it's not for everybody I'll be honest but it's a very useful tool for a lot of businesses and it could be the right tool to help you grow yours um, so if you're looking to get started in email marketing here are three companies that I recommend you check out number one is ConvertKit and ConvertKit offers landing pages opt-ins they um, you can automate your email marketing you can capture your contacts all in one place um, you can there's a lot of things that you can do to grow your email list they have lots of different training and um, they have a really good customer support as well so if you're interested in checking out ConvertKit definitely go to howtoentrepreneur.org slash ConvertKit I'll leave that in the description box below so you can check it out um, again howtoentrepreneur.org slash ConvertKit and the second one that I recommend you check out if you're looking for email marketing is get response convert kit and get response um, both offer email marketing software but you might find one to be easier than the other and I've seen that I've seen some people who prefer convert kit and some people who prefer get response um, added to that get response has other things like webinars um, they also have um, integration with payment processors so you can sell full digital products 
use and get response and they have really good training as well so there's a lot of benefits to both of them and you can actually try them both out for free and see which one works better for you so if you're interested in get response you can go to howtoentrepreneur.org slash get response again howtoentrepreneur.org slash get response and check that out and last but not least um, my final recommendation for email marketing is Podia and I've been using Podia to grow my email list because um, I've been making really good lead magnets with Podia and also um, you can use Podia to actually email directly from Podia so if you want to be able to make lead magnets make online courses make um, digital products that you can sell Podia is an all-in-one platform that you can do all of that with you can make memberships all of that so those are my three recommendations if you're interested in Podia you can go to howtoentrepreneur.org slash Podia again howtoentrepreneur.org slash Podia and like I said, I'll put all the links in the description box below so you can check them each out. And I really hope you hope all the best for you and your business and that you um, really, if, if you're interested in email marketing, that you use it to help your business to start or to grow. And that's all I have for this video. If you liked it, please leave a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this where I do product and service reviews as well as growth strategies to help you grow your business from idea to full-time income and from full-time income to enterprise, then definitely subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon so you can be notified of upcoming videos. That's all I have for this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.